Hey everyone, doing well? I hope. Uh, now then, by request from a while back, today we're going to have a look at something a little less high profile than the usual guitar fare that I cover here on my channel. Going to show you guys how to play the very awesome and chill guitar solo to Natalie Merchant's Carnival with the extremely talented Jennifer Turner on guitar. Now, you guys no doubt know that my focus is usually geared more towards classic rock of the 60s, 70s, and 80s. However, I have a definite soft spot for the music of Natalie Merchant. Uh, she's probably my favorite female vocalist, either her or Stevie Nicks. It's a bit of a toss-up. Carnival, from her 1995 album Tiger Lily, being one of my favorite tracks of hers, with some absolutely outstanding guitar playing throughout. And I've been wanting to learn and do a tutorial for this solo for quite Quite a while now so here we are anyway enough said let's close in here a little bit on the fretboard and get started yeah good then let's have a look at how to play the solo to carnival by jennifer turner and natalie merchant we are in standard tuning for this tutorial we are up on the neck pickup and we're soloing in the key of f sharp minor using the f sharp minor scale right here <laughs> the final two-thirds of this solo, we're going to shift up here to this position of the F-sharp minor scale, starting on the 9 of the A string. And that's the root note there. We're not getting up that high, but... So the solo starts like this. So we're starting on the 4 of the G string, we're going to slide it into 6, and we're going to hammer on to 7, back to 6, pull it off to 4. Now we're going to do a little trill between 4 and 6, and then when you go back to the 4, you're going to slide it back to 2. Right, and then we're into this lick. So we're back here on the 1, 2 of the G string now, starting on the 1. Going to do a little pull off from uh, 2 to 1, and then reach up here, grab the 4 of the D string, and then back to the 1, 2 again. Kind of like that. Hang on it, pull it off to 1. And then you're going to go up to the 2 of the D, back to the 1 of the G, back to the 2 of the D, slide it into 4. about the first third of the solo. And now we shift up here with this. So we're sliding into the 11th fret of the G string and then we're going to grab the 9 of the B and let them ring together. Kind of like that, and you're going to take that 9, move it up to 10. Kind of like that. On to the 12, pull it back off to 10. Back onto the 12, full step bend, and then you're going to get your pinky on the 12 of the high E underneath it, and give that a pick on the upstroke. Now, that bent note on the, on the B string, we're going to pick that and release it off to 10. Pick it twice, and then hammer on to 12. Kind of like that, right? Into this. So we're going to plant our pinky on the 12 of the high E, and then we're going to alternate notes between the 10 of the B and off to the 9 of the B. Kind of like that, right? When you go back to the 10, uh, the first time you're going to slide into it. So, not 10, 9, slide back to 10. 
and then back to the nine, right? And then we're into that. So you're gonna pick that twice. A little trill between uh, nine and 10, back to nine. Pull off 11, off to nine of the G, finish on the 11 of the D. Choke the note off, right? Into this. Just sliding into 11 of the D. Pick the nine of the G twice, hammer on to 11. And then we're into this lick. So sliding into 11, uh, nine, 10, back off to nine of the B, and back up to 11. And then you're gonna go back to the nine, pick it, up to the 10, and pick it. And then you're gonna do a little hammer on to 12, back off to 10. Just like that. Right back into a bend at 12, full step bend. Into that lick there before going back into a bend. Just all on the nines and twelves, right of the B and the high E. Finishing the solo with this. So 9 12 of the high E. Little <clears throat> 9 onto 12, pull it back off to 9. Full step bend at 12. Release it back to the natural note, pull it off to 9. And then bounce off the, uh, the 10 of the B, back to 9 of the high E, and then back to 10. and that's the end of the solo. So let's take a break right from the beginning and then we'll be done. And there you have it, my friends. That is how you play the solo to Carnival by Jennifer Turner and Natalie Merchant. Certainly hope you found that helpful. And if you did, please hit that like button. Drop me a subscribe if you haven't done that already, as that would be awfully kind. Hope you're well out there in your little guitar corner of the world, wherever that may be. And we'll see you next time. Cheers.